Look at that, son. That is nice. Nice handful. You see, here's the leaf of a high bush cranberry. It's like a maple leaf. Serrated edges, three points, three major stems through the middle. Easy to recognize. Here's one of the berries, close up, right there. I'll show you the seed. That's the seed, it's flat. They're sweetening up pretty nice compared to the last time I came and took some about two weeks ago. Oh, these are red. Look at that. Beautiful. Just look at that, huh? <laughs> this is a big batch. <laughs> High bush cranberries like there's no like there's no tomorrow this year. <laughs> oh, those are thick. I've already canned uh, 21 half pints. I got uh, seven of them that are just straight juice, and seven of them are um, some water content and a little more honey. And then I got a batch where I mix some apples with them. And 21 half pints is a lot of jelly, but um, I'm canning them and preserving them, and they'll they'll keep for years. And I don't know what kind of harvest I'm going to have next year. I have these berry bushes, so I'm loading up. So hopefully I can get another seven half pints out of this. Well, it looks like I'm filling up, so I might get 14. Another 14 half pints. When you mix uh, these high bush cranberries, the juice of the high bush cranberries with honey, and um, normally on a, on a 10 cup mixture, I'll do six cups of uh, high bush cranberry juice and four cups of honey and nothing else. The mixture of the tartness from the berry juice and the sweetness of the honey is out of this world. The flavor just dances in your mouth. Branch the grab first, huh? Well, you're getting the idea. Okay, I see more over here. 
Things are going very well. I like picking these berries. They're good for jelly. Okay, that's enough. Look at that. High bush cranberries. This is a two gallon bucket, so I'm pretty close to two gallons. I know I'll get my six cups out of that pretty easy. Okay, let's go processing.